Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be continuing the testing of the simulated Ryzen dual core CPU. If you haven't seen the first video, I recommend you go check that video out first by hitting the I in the top right corner. Don't worry, I'll be here when you get back. I promise. But for the rest of you who are still watching this video, today we're going to be benchmarking the Pentium G4560, a dual core with hyper threading from Intel. So what I did was take the RX480 from my personal rig, which I used in the Ryzen dual core benchmarking, and threw it into the $350 gaming PC version 2, which we actually just released on the channel as well. Specs and the test benches for both systems will be in the description down below for those interested. So I ran the same benchmarks that I did with the simulated dual core Ryzen CPU, and we're going to be going over the numbers and see what I got. Could a dual core Ryzen CPU with SMT compete with a new budget hardware king from Intel? Well, let's just get into those benchmarks, shall we? So first up, CSGO at max settings. The G4560's single threaded performance gives it a noticeable win over the dual core Ryzen CPU in this test, with averages around 205 FPS over 160 from the dual core Ryzen. This is a trend that you will start to follow throughout the benchmarks. Now on to Doom, which tells again a similar story with the G4560 winning once again significantly with a 71 FPS average compared to 48 on the Ryzen dual core. These numbers were honestly really shocking to me and I ran them multiple times to make sure on the Ryzen system that those are the numbers that were going on, but it does appear that there is a pretty significant gap in between them. Next up is H1Z1 with again the exact same story, the G4560 blowing out the dual core Ryzen with an over 30 FPS gap gain on the averages. So just for fun, I decided to run some synthetic benchmarks as well to see how they stack up in certain tests like Unigen, Superposition, and Cinebench. First up with Cinebench, the dual core Ryzen got a multi-threaded score of 346 while the Pentium got a score of 370, within margin of error. And then in Unigen Superposition, a benchmark that I must say leverages the GPU a lot more than the CPU, but regardless is a really good benchmark to run, the dual core Ryzen on 1080p high preset got a score of 5111, with the Pentium G4560 coming in with a score of 5106, an actual win for the Ryzen CPU with what I would say are scores within margin of error within each other. So what do these numbers actually mean? Well, there's a couple of factors to keep in mind. The simulated Ryzen CPU is just that, a simulation by disabling cores on my Ryzen 7 1700. It is not going to be a perfect representation of what a dual core Ryzen CPU would perform like, but the numbers still do surprise me regardless. I would lean the majority of this performance gap to the optimization of Intel and their superior single threaded performance. With these dual core CPUs, single threaded performance is much more noticeable and important due to the lower core count, therefore hurting the Ryzen architecture that has been seen as being less powerful compared to the Intel counterpart in terms of single threaded performance. While all of this is total speculation, and it does not appear as of right now that AMD is going to be coming out with something, if they do, I really hope it performs better than this and does come a little bit more optimized, which could be expected with the Ryzen CPU generation actually becoming more optimized by the daily, but would it actually compete with the $70 G4560? Who knows, but we will definitely be testing a dual core offering from AMD if and when it actually releases and comparing the numbers with the simulated dual core, we think that would be very interesting. Who knows, there could be a dual core APU with hyper threading coming from AMD sometime in the future. But that about wraps things up here guys. If you liked the video, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you haven't already, follow us on Twitter and join our Discord community. All links are located in the description down below. I hope to see you all in the next one guys. Peace out.